Do you know what makes me happy in a rainy day? Fesen Jun. Let's make it. Welcome guys. Let's make another Persian food together. Every food has a star, but it's difficult for me to determine what exactly is the star of the Fesen Jun. Of course, in many cities of Iran, Fesenjun is called walnut stew, so walnut is probably the main star. But in my opinion, pomegranate paste plays the most important role. The sweetness or sourness of Fesenjun depends on the taste of pomegranate. To start, put the ground walnut on low heat, and when the pot is completely hot, I add a glass of very cold water. This shocks the walnut and cause the oil to came out. Then we will wait and wait and wait and wait. Now I take the chickens out of the freezer and while they are still frozen, I make a few stills with a sharp knife. Then we will wait. I add frozen chickens to the walnut and with putting some ice to the walnuts, shut them again. Turn the heat to the medium. Now let our superstar handmade pomegranate paste shine. 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 The pedas like shine. And since I don't follow the instructions very much and I'm not happy with the color of our star, I add homemade plum paste too. Maybe our star needs her supporting actor to shine. Why not? Shine, shine, no, no, no. another cold water to shock the fist and again. and my lovely pomegranate juice. Salt and black pepper powder. And I'm not sure if everyone does it or not, but my mom used to do it, so I do it too. A tiny amount of Angelica powder, just a pinch. and a teaspoon of sugar to balance the sourness. This stew should be left on the heat for a few hours to set. Then we will wait and wait. I mean low heat. In the meantime, add some ice to the walnut and shake them several times. Look at the oil around those ice cubes. That's what I want.
I didn't add any kind of oil to it. It is all walnuts oil that have been shocked and came out to see what's going on. A good fesenjun is completed with rice and tahdik. I wash the rice very well with hot water until the water becomes clear. Add water as much as the rice, put it on the heat with oil and salt. After 8 to 10 minutes, drain the rice. Be sure to pour cold water on the rice. Pour salt and oil at the bottom of the pot. Cover the bottom of the pot with any flat bread you have. And then add cooled and half cooked rice. At the end, make some little holes to give the rice room to rise. This step is a completely Persian way to cook rice. Dam koni. I cover the lid of the pot with a clean cloth and put it on the pot. This will make the steam that rises from the rice stay on the cloth and the rice will cook better. In fact, we do not allow steams to escape from the pot. After 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, Fesen Jun and rice. And unfortunately, a slightly burnt attic. Guys, we were at the end so starving, so we didn't record anything of eating the food. So. Nusha John, see you.